Hi there, I'm uh, John Mayfield. I'm owner of Mayfield Mastering here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, today we're gonna talk about mastering, that strange world. I've been in the music business basically my whole life. Grew up playing in bands and uh, spent the first part of my musical experience uh, playing music, which honestly really gave me a huge sense of what music is all about. And uh, decided um, that it was time for me to get off the stage and get into the recording business. So I got into recording and mixing, stayed at that for about 23 years. And then about 96, decided to switch gears and move over to mastering. Even at the age of getting ready to turn 70, I wake up every morning excited to come to work. That's basically what our business is all about is really having a great time doing what you're doing, but also making a living. Fundamentally, I take your product, your final mix product, and it's my responsibility to make sure that it's gonna compete once it hits the market. Frankly, this is just a business, and we are creating a commodity, and that commodity needs to hit the market and be successful. Well, in order to do that, you need to be cognizant of the competition. So I encourage all mix folks, and I do also, to do a lot of referencing and making sure that your product is as good or better. And it's my responsibility to make sure that it does that in its final form, both from a level standpoint and sonically. It's my responsibility to take care of all of your um, technical mistakes, if there are any. The phase rotation, distortion, P-pops, ticks, extraneous noises. I take care of all of those. Make sure that they're not distractive to the listening. Mastering is a marriage between art and science. The creative aspect that I can bring to the table is based on the creativity that you have sent in your mix. I'm gonna to listen to your mix and get a feel for where I think your creativity was headed. I'm gonna work with your dynamics. The way a given song will begin can be determined by the way the previous song ended. And that dynamic is very important to the listening experience. Is there enough bass? Is there enough treble? Is there enough oomph? Those are creative decisions that I can make that hopefully will enhance what your original intentions were. And that's why I think a conversation between myself and the producer or creator uh, is very important. We have conversations about where your intentions have been during the production process. So from a creative standpoint, it's very important for me to know what your intentions are. 